Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I want to talk to you guys about how to make your book club final product. So right here, I have the project packet wide open. And I want to talk to you today about how to make your paper that you're going to write, your five paragraph essay about your character and what they believe, what they value, and what rules they follow during the book. So this is the first page right here of the book club. Uh, project pack. You got Nazi Germany and you got the Jewish star of David here. You're going to be graded on your introduction, your evidence, your conclusion, and your conventions. That's spelling, capitalization, and punctuation. But all this is pretty much the same as you were graded throughout my, with any Satoma or anything you've written in my class. Okay? So the very first thing you need to know is we're going to go down here. And this is where you're going to start your evidence. You have to write your evidence in here. I'm going to give you a template, but you have to show your evidence before you get the template. So the first part has to do with beliefs, what the character believes to be true. So I'd like you to say, my character believes on page blank. This is the beginning of the book somewhere, about the first third, that and then tell me what they believe and then give me evidence directly from the book. Here, somewhere in the middle or middle third, my character now believes that page number. Give what it is you think they believe and then give me evidence from the book. And then as you guessed it, here at the end, same thing. Finally, in the end, my, my character comes to believe that page number, explain, and evidence. I've given you an example right here. The beginning of my book, my character believes on page nine, so in the first third, at the beginning of the book, Sarah believes that she will go back and unlock the cupboard and save her brother and continue to live life as she was. Because Sarah said to her brother, I'll come back for you later, I promise. And there's more information after that. In the middle of the book, her character believes, she starts to believe that she's not going to get hurt in the concentration camp, that she's still going to get home. I think this because the book says she was safe, she thought. She was safe with her mother and her father, and this was not going to last very long. Matter of fact, this was the French police that was holding her, not the Germans. No one was going to harm them. And then by the end of the book, my character believes, on page 160 towards the end, that she won't be able to go home as fast as she thought. She's starting to believe her brother is dead. The book says as she entered the room, she left her brother uh, in long before. A rotten stench hit her like a fist. She drew away. The boy that was with her at her side recoiled, afraid. Sarah fell to her knees. So basically, this is the three pieces of evidence I need for believes. I'm going to do the same here for three pieces of evidence from the beginning, middle, and end of values. And I'm going to do the same thing here for beginning, middle, and end on rules. After I filled this up in red, purple, and orange with my evidence and my pages, I am then going to go here. This is the template I'm going to be given. In the template, I'm going to fill in the information. The character, name your character, from the book, give the book title, by the author, give the book titles or the author's name, and then give a short background on the character. The beliefs or the main belief of the character in the book is he or she values that. And finally, in your claim paragraph, this character has rules they follow like. I've written you from the Boy in Striped Pajamas an example. The character Bruno from Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boylan is an eight-year-old boy living in Nazi Germany during World War II. He loves his house in Berlin and his lifestyle of elegance and fun. Bruno's not happy when he has to leave his new, uh, for, to his new home because his father is transferred, leaving everything he knows behind. That's a quick background. Just like right here. The beliefs, my character, uh, the beliefs of my character are memories and lifestyle that he had before he had to leave behind for his new life. That's my red. Bruno values his house and his friends because that's all he really knows, my purple. The rules of his character are that his morning routine, such as sitting, sliding down the banister and bugging the maid, 
which are as comfortable things to do right here. Now I go and start plugging in my evidence from here. I plug this part in to here. I plug this part in right here to here. And I plug my orange here. Then I go through and I do my conclusion. In conclusion, my character in the book, name them, is... My character summarize everything here in two sentences, and it is important for the authors to do this in their writing because, and tell us why the authors expand and grow a character. Your character has grown throughout the book, through values, beliefs, and rules. When you are done, your paper should look like this. Right here. Here's my claim paragraph. Here's my beliefs paragraph. Please underline beliefs and pages, beliefs and pages. Please underline values and pages, values and pages. Please underline rules and pages, rules and pages. And then finally, here's my conclusion. 14 point font, one and a half spacing. This is what my paper looks like. 14 point font, one and a half spacing. When I'm done, I turn it in. All right. Good job. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.